Shalom, let's give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this word. I just want to talk about, you know, letting your light shine before men, you know, you know, teaching this word, pushing this word out, you know, because it's very important, you know, when you hear the calling, you know, to, uh, to take part, push out this word, because, uh, when this word reaches, you know, all the earth, you know, through the internet, and that's when the end will come. So it's very important to, uh, to do your job and to push this word out to the best of your ability, no matter what, you know, talent you were given. You know, you don't want to take your talent and put it in a napkin, you know, or hide your candle under your bed, you know, because it's, it's a very important work. You know, we want to get up out of here, you know. So we want to push this word, you know, across the entire planet. But the first scripture is uh, Matthew 5 and 16. Let your light shine, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Yeah, we want to glorify you. How about you? shy, man. You know, keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, not being you know, rebellious, you know. You gotta show these good works out here. Yeah, the next scripture is uh, Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then and then shall the end come. And that's what we're looking forward to the end of, of this world, the end of Esau's world, so that our kingdom can come about. You know, so we can get about America and, you know, be delivered, you know. But, you know, these prophecies have to come to pass first. Uh, you have to go through that time of Jacob's trouble. But, you know, we want to get get through it, go through these trials, tribulations, and get into the kingdom, you know. So, but first, you know, this gospel has to be preached across the world. Scripture is uh, Ephesians 4 and 1. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy in the vocation wherewith ye are called. In the vocation, you know, you're called to this thing. You know, when I mean, you're called, you are chosen. Uh, but you want to be able to walk worthy in this vocation. Uh, you look that the word up in the Greek uh, where there's uh, klesis. It means a calling, calling to, an invitation, an invitation to the, to the kingdom, to the marriage, you know, of the divine invitation to embrace salvation of the Most High, you know. So we're looking for that salvation. You got to push, let that light shine bright so that you can be considered worthy, worthy of salvation. You got to put in that work, you know. But, you know, that word vocation goes a little deeper. You know, we look it up in the etymology of the word. Uh, it's a spiritual calling, uh, profession. You know, this is our profession, you know. You know this is our true job. This is why we are put on the planet Earth, you know, is to teach this word and glorify the Father, you know. Most of our two thirds of our people, you know, they're not going to get it. They're rebellious people, they're sadist children, you know. So it's very, it's a very important thing, man, if you're part of that elect. It's a big job. It's your troop of profession, you know, being part of that elect, pushing out this word, and ultimately, you know, deliverance, you know. We want, to, we want to do all that we can do to walk worthy of this profession, of this calling. So Matthew 22 and 14, many are called, but few are chosen. You know, you want to walk worthy so that you can get chosen and be delivered. You know, you don't want to get caught up in that lake of fire. You don't want to get caught up in you know, the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, you want to be protected. You want to be hid the said perils that are coming so we want to be chosen you know and 
how do, how do you get chosen? Well, last scripture is uh, 2 Peter 1 and 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fail. Yeah, 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 get that diligence, man. To the best of your ability, you know. So that you can be considered worthy of being a joint heir of Yahweh Shai. You know. Of this profession that we call ourselves, you know. Prophets, you know, kings. You want to be that king and a priest. You know, you got to be worthy of that title. At the end of the day, but yeah, it's like, uh, you got to give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Or if you do these things, you should never fail. You know, you got to pray, you know, pray that the Lord keeps you in the spirit. But you're not going to be in the spirit all the time, you know. You got, you got other jobs, you know, whatever. You got a lot of stuff going on. So you got to pray to keep that spirit on you. To keep pushing forward, to endure until the very end. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about, you know, you gotta let your light shine bright before men. You know, I'm with that, you know, Shalom.